Today we're going to be installing the knuckle light pod mounts from Gatekeeper Off-Road and this item is actually very unique to that company. First step of this install process is to locate the VAP canister. The yoke will take a little bit of gentle persuasion. So these tabs do not want to come off. Uh, if you've ever been off-road at night, you know that lights and being able to see the obstacle that you're going over is very important. One issue is you can have rock lights, but they don't turn or move whenever you're going to an obstacle. These actually mount to the steering knuckles and will turn with your wheels over whatever obstacle that you're going on. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Jeep on some jack stands and take the wheel off. That way we've got easier access to the knuckles and I'll show you just how easy these are to install. Okay, so these lights are going to be very easy to install. There's going to be two bolts that you're going to have to take out and they are on your knuckle. Uh, one here and one that's going to be a little bit more difficult to get to that's uh, underneath the, uh, the C of the steering knuckle. So you're going to need a 13 millimeter 12 point socket in order to get these bolts out. And we're going to go ahead and take those out now. Then we're going to reinstall both bolts and torque down to 75 foot pounds. Once you get both bolts, uh, reinstalled and torqued down to 75 foot-pounds you're pretty much done with the install the only thing left to do is install the other side run some wire connect it to whatever form of switch you prefer so I'm gonna go ahead and install the other side and then I will run some wire and show you how I'm gonna do that now that I have the second knuckle light pod mounted and everything is torqued to spec it's time to start running wires now you're going to need at least 30 feet of red and black wire in order to uh, get everything uh, wired up and installed so i'm going to show you how i'm going to uh, do all the wiring and we're going to start in the engine bay since you do need to get wires down uh, down to the knuckles we're gonna find a spot somewhere here in the engine bay and we're gonna drop the wire down through. That way we can access it through the fender and wire up the light. The easiest way to get down along the passenger side is right here on the side of the battery tray uh, up against the frame of the Jeep. There is a slight gap there. And if you have cut your fenders like I have, it's gonna come out right here. Uh, from there, we're just gonna go ahead and run the wires behind the fender. Now that I have the wire ran behind the uh, inner fender liner, I'm going to go ahead and start wiring. Now you're going to need some wire strippers. Uh, I like to use some butt connectors with uh, some heat shrink. That way it gets a good solid connection when you're joining two, uh, two different wires and then the heat shrink will create a watertight seal around it. Anytime that you're dealing with electricity, water is a bad thing. After you get the wire connected on the passenger side, I like to run it along the back um, tubing over here. And then you can just come on in here and uh, wire it to the S-Pod. That's gonna complete the install for the Gatekeeper Off-Road Knuckle Light Pod mounts. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna go and check out uh, their website and order a set of these mounts. They do make them for several different models of Jeep and other off-road vehicles, as well as several different axle uh, sizes and uh, steering knuckle mounts. 
Overall, I'd say it took about an hour to an hour and a ha uh, half to complete the install, get everything wired up. Make sure you have a 13 millimeter uh, 12 point socket if you're gonna be doing it on a JK, as well as a torque wrench that will torque everything back down to spec. Since this is dealing with the steering knuckle, you're gonna wanna make sure that everything is tight and you're not gonna lose a wheel or anything driving down the road. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.